Hello friends, um, welcome. So here um, in my uh, home page, uh, I can see only um, I can see only the post uh, list of the post, not the movie post type. So if I want to uh, if I want to add any custom post type as custom post type post in my ar blog archive page, then how can I do? So what we can do is that uh, we can simply I will just keep it simple. So I will just copy this one, okay. And then uh, we will add action on a pre get post, okay. And in the function, we will get the WP uh, query. So I will use a query object. And here uh, you can check first is whether if dollar uh, query is a main query or not. If it's a main query. Okay, because this has to important, uh, I will tell you why. So uh, we are checking for is main query because uh, this action, pre get post action will call for all the custom WP query uh, execution. So instead of the like the uh, global uh, WP query, which is uh, created and executed by the WordPress, the developers, uh, we, uh, we also use the WP query for custom uh, database query or cust fetching the post based on the different arguments. So that also, so in that custom query also, the pre get post uh, method will be used. Okay, so, but here in the front end, this is the main query, okay, main query executed by the WordPress and in that main query, we want to modify the arguments. So that's why we will use this is main query. So is main query, you can go here and let's check is main query okay so it will just check whether current query is the wp the query or not okay so wp the query is the another uh, uh, global variable and it will same as a wp query and this will use to if the wp query is modified then still uh, the wp the query will use to just check whether the current uh, current wp query is the main query or not okay so that's why we have used is main query. And if it's a main query, then uh, we will uh, set uh, and uh, post type. Uh, let me just get us, is there any method called set post type or not? Only set method will be there. Yeah, only set method in that query where we have to uh, enable. So first I have to get the existing post. So what I will do is that uh, in the in, in the set, I will add a post, okay? And we have to set a add a, so post and the movie, okay? So, and since it's a multi, multiple post types, we are, uh, we are setting up, so post type. And I have passed the post so that uh, uh, we, I don't want to override the change so if i do not or if i just simply set a post then it will uh it will fetch only the movie post type so let's let's see how this is work so here if you refresh the page now you can see kgf chapter 2 and the post for the rice movie and no other post our posts are gone okay so <clears throat> now if you want to set uh like uh you you just want to add a movie then you you first get all the post types first post type query verse merge the movie there and then uh, set it again but for now it, it, this is a demo so i can simply in the array format i will pass post and then movie okay i uh, just simply add now if you go here now you can see template sticky this is sticky post that's why it's always comes first then you can see KGF chapter two or another movie post records. And then there is other uh, blog post art there. Okay. And our, so there are only two movies uh, post uh, exist. So that's why only two. If there are more then based on the uh, date, um, so WP query the uh, ascending and descending uh, or ordering your uh, post result based on the uh, post uh, date query and it will be a descending order by default. Okay, so that's why it's displaying. So this way, you uh, you can modify uh, and you can set various query variables and modify the properties um, of the query 
and then you can do and it's very important uh, if you just want to modify uh, the, the main query then better to use is main query and also we don't want to do anything with the admin okay so you can uh, add uh, if it's uh, uh, admin okay then you will you want to simply return because in the admin also uh, this uh, uh, main global wp query executed else it will create a problem so let's see how what could be the issue so if i just comment this code here i can go to the dashboard go to the posts okay now you can in the post you can also see the kgf chapter 2 and puspa the rise right so because uh, in uh, uh, on the all post page you can see all the all the posts okay and uh, and this is the another uh, main query uh, this post fetched by the wordpress and it's using the main query uh, main global wp query so that's why so is and that's why this condition needed that if it's an admin then simply return we don't want to modify current uh, modify in the admin in until unless like it you can you can do if you want to modify something in the wordpress admin but currently we don't want to that's why if it's an admin then we can simply return it so now you don't see this uh, post and also in the movies you only see uh, only the movies post okay so that's this conditional condition conditions is very important when you are modifying the uh, wp query arguments this condition is very helpful okay and based on those various conditions you can do now here in the pre get post uh, you want to modify something or you want to uh, you want to modify uh, currently it's a is main query okay if the category for example and like hypothetical example that the category taxonomy also assigned to custom movie post type but okay but by default the category archive pages only display um, display the, the default post not your custom post type post so here instead of the uh, is if it's a main query and you can simply call another add condition that uh, if it's uh, is category um, okay and then call this one okay so based on this categories method uh, this is the methods uh, conditional methods okay so here you can see a is category methods here okay and it will just simply check whether the category any category is set if you want to check for a particular category then you can pass that category slug uh, or the id if it's not then you can simply uh, yeah, and if you want to modify for all the categories archive pages then you can you you, you can just pa do not pass the arguments it will just check whether the category property set or not and if it's set then it will change the post type or any other arguments you want to modify so based on these conditional tags as well or methods you can do a conditional modifications of the wp query and it's really helpful okay so these are the uh like you know uh, the things you can use or you can you can modify the behavior of the global wp query or the custom query okay but do not forget to uh, go through all the parameters available and also go through the WP query enter class definition and see how the WP query class looks like. What are the functions are there? Um, how, what are the properties? How does that to get post uh, matter construct a uh, SQL query based on uh, based on the arguments we have passed? Uh, and what are the other actions or filters executed by the WP query? And probably if you know about that, uh, like uh, uh, accents and filters probably during some development uh, you can you and if it's needed based on some use cases then you know that okay the wp query must have maybe executed some uh, accents or filters so that let's let's uh, uh, let's look for that and if it's useful then we can use in our development similarly like we have used this pre get post um, accent where we have modified the wp query uh, arguments based on the conditions right so that that's really helpful for for exploring purpose okay so yeah uh that's all about the wp query i don't think i'm missing anything but uh yeah but but, but, but uh, this uh, wp query class reference is very helpful and you can go through all the properties and methods if you call here you can see all the properties and uh, read these documentations as well so you know about it all the documentations and how this queried object and queried object use to identify the current poster page.
okay so credit object like okay let's let me go to the credit object for example and now i don't want this one so i will just simply turn okay now you want that uh, current category page but the currently is category but you want the uh, object id for example so if if it's a uh, category okay then we will simply call the i have to sorry wait just a minute uh, global wp uh, query okay and if it's a category um, then i want to know about the query object so let, let's not okay wait uh, let me just not use a condition we will simply just unprint the tag okay so first uh, we will uh, wp query um, then uh, get query object okay, let me just check whether this uh, method is correct or not yeah this method is correct get query object okay so get query object and another one is the uh, get query object id okay also let's see whether this is correct or not yeah it's a correct one okay so uh let's see what it thinks out okay so in the uh, in the front end for example learn purpose visitor site you can see the zero and empty because it's a block archive page we are not we are not on or you uh, on archive pages or something okay let me just uh, comment this out for now so that we can replace now template sticky okay let's see this is a single a single post page so let's see how what arguments it's uh, so now you can see the 1241 so current credit object id is 1241 which is the current uh, single post id and uh, it's written the wp post here okay uh, now let's go talk check how it looks like on a uh, archive pages so uh, i'm going to the uh, author archive page this is my archive page okay uh, like my user archive page so i am just uh, uncomment this one and here now you can see the one this is my user id and here you can use a wp user class okay so this is the query uh, object of the queried uh, query so currently this is the author archive page and current uh, uh, logged in or sorry chandra author um, archive is uh, displayed so that's why it's uh, displaying this here now similarly if you uh go to the category for example let's say the block category so here you will see the a term a block term object okay if i refresh here now you can see the block term id6 and then wp term object because current archive page is a category archive page and it term is the block block term a block category archive page and that's why it's a queried object okay so based on this uh, archive pages and different uh, different types of pages this queried object uh, will be set by the wp query and this is also helpful if you want to uh, if you if if you uh, if needs uh, in some use case if you need what is the current object id or the term id you want to get then you, based on that and this object id and everything used by the uh, wp query as well for fetching or checking whether this current is our category page or archive pages or anything okay um yeah so that's all about uh, let me just comment this out uh, so you can uh, you can learn through about this uh, so um go through this uh, do not forget to go through about like do not forget to visit this wp query class okay and you will and learn about properties every property there are multiple properties but better to learn so that we know at least that uh, there are some things in the wp query which we can use during the development okay and there are methods as well so in the methods you can see all list of the methods here and what it exactly does so go through the each and every method i know that uh, this is very long list and it's very time consuming but trust me uh, knowing all these things is very helpful during our development so you can you can achieve uh, any any complex uh, task or features you can implement but at least uh, this the, the no knowledge of all these also helpful in the debugging so somewhere if uh, problems are creating then you know that okay what could be the 
where the WP query can be changed or how we can find in our third party plugins or our own plugins or themes to see where, where these problems creating, if it's related to the displaying the data, fetching the data and many things. Okay, for example, uh, that you have you have passed WP query, but uh, you have called the WP query, um, but you are not getting the posts uh, in the results. It's returning empty. So simply, um, uh, you can you can simply uh, print the WP query object, uh, get the request uh, property where you can see entire SQL uh, query, and then you can manually execute that SQL query in your using any SQL uh, tooling like PHP MyAdmin or SQL Pro or any any other tooling, and you and and see whether that SQL query executing works uh, fine or not. If it's if it's that SQL query returning the data, then there is something going wrong in the execution of the WP query where your posts. Uh, are not uh, uh, your posts are not fetching okay so yeah it's not returning it's not saved any any kind of this is just an hypothetical example i'm i'm saying but having a knowledge of uh, of any any particular module or the feature in the workplace and having a knowledge in depth will definitely help the developers um, to implement or to integrate any kind of complex features or useful features with the wordpress okay so yeah uh, that's all about wp query uh, in this video so i hope you have learned something new uh, in this video uh, now you it's your turn to go through the wp query class the parameters properties and methods and i hope you explore this in depth and also explore the WordPress code base for the WP query class and what are the how behind the scene it's executing. Okay. Yeah. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, see you on the next one. Um, Jay WordPress.